Hey guys, it's Alex, and welcome to Ruby Tutorials for Beginners. In this video, I'll be talking about the switch uh, case statement in Ruby. So basically, in um, every other programming language that I know, it's called the switch statement. In Ruby, it's called a case expression, which is, I don't know, it's super weird, but that's Ruby. <laughs> you have to get used to it. Um, what it basically is, is, um, let me give you an example, actually, because it's much more easier to understand. So I'm going to have a variable uh, called name, and I'm going to give it, I'm going to set it to Alex, right? Now, what if I don't want to, um, what if I want to write a program that will only output the name if it's Alex, Bob, or Martin, for example? Well... We're gonna have to write three ifs, right? If name if name equals Alex, and then we're gonna say put the name. Um, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna write three separate ifs. We're gonna write a case expression. So this is how it works. We're gonna say case, and then we're gonna write the name of the variable that we want to write cases for, and then we're gonna end it because we all always have to end the uh, an expression or statement. And inside, we're gonna say when. Let me just indent that. When uh, Alex, we're gonna say we're gonna output Alex. When it's Bob, we're gonna output Bob. When it's uh, Martin, we're gonna output Martin. And then, what if it's neither Alex, Bob, or Martin? Nothing will happen. But if we write else, just like an if statement. But if it's something else, we're going to say the name is not valid, for example. Let's go ahead and test that. We get Alex. And if we type in Bob, we're going to get Bob. And if we type in Martin, we're going to get Martin. But if we type in something else, we get the name is not valid. Um, let me go that again really quickly because it's a really simple expression. So we write in case and then we put in the name of the variable that we're going to be creating the, um, we're going to be checking in the different cases for. So for example, we want to check if the name is Alex, Bob, or Martin for the variable name. So that's why you put case name. And then we put when. And that's basically saying if name equals Alex, right? So, we're going to say when Alex, uh, when the name is, it's what basically saying when name equals Alex. So, when name Alex puts, we're going to put out Alex. When it's Bob, we're going to put out Bob. When it's Martin, we're going to put out Martin. But oh, what if it's neither Alex, Bob, or Martin? That's where we come to the else uh, statement, and it's going to say put and we're going to output the name is not valid. So it's a real simple expression. I hope you guys understood it because it's, uh, I just, I should have shown you uh, this when I was teaching you about the if statements, but it was just really simple, so I forgot about it. I don't know. So yeah, uh, y you don't even have to learn this. I mean, honestly, I don't really use switch case uh, expressions that often. Um, sometimes when you have a lot of cases, they're useful, but in most cases, I don't use them. So yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.